Greetings, friends. I'm coming to you to conclude a narrative that I started five weeks ago on my healing from a stroke that I had in May of 2004. I started out by telling you I was speaking to these 200 businessmen, had a stroke, went to the hospital, got out, ended up going to a healing service where I was completely healed. I shared that last week. But I want to conclude with, with what the pastor said after he called Rivers and I up to the platform. He said, this Sunday, people will be healed in your church and thousands will come to your church for healing. And so when he said that, uh, this is Saturday now, I, I told Rivers, let's get back to Westport, five hour drive, because I want to see if somebody comes into our church on Sunday morning to be healed. And so we get back and I go to the second service that morning at 10 o'clock and there's a guest speaker. And at the end of the sermon, uh, the elder gets up and asks if there's any uh, healing requests from the congregation. Well, during the middle of the sermon, this woman had walked in with a friend about halfway through the sermon, sat down about halfway up in the pews. And when the elder said, does anybody need prayer requests? This woman stands up and says, uh, I'm sorry, I'm late. She said, I, I want to tell you that I have a serious veins, varicose vein issue in my legs. It's been so painful over the months that finally I, I lost my job six months ago. And I was praying this morning in, in New Haven, Connecticut, about 30 miles away from Westport. And the Lord said, if you go to a church in Westport, you'll be healed this morning. And so she and her girlfriend came and they were driving around Westport and it kept going by this church and that church. And finally they went past our church. And she said, the Lord said, this is the church you will be healed in. And she said, Lord, it's a Lutheran church. And the Lord said, go in there, you'll be healed. So she said, I don't know if this makes sense to anybody, but that's why I'm here this morning. So when she sat down and sat down immediately, I said, oh my goodness, this is what the Lord was talking about. So at the end of the service, I went up, introduced myself, and asked her what she needed prayer for. She told me, we, I prayed for her, and as I'm praying for her, she starts to do these little ballerina parapets, turning around and around, and all the pain left her legs, and she was completely healed. In fact, she later said in the parking lot, told people she was healed. She was, she couldn't, she was crying, she was so excited. And Monday morning, she called the church and left a message on the voicemail saying she was going back to her old job to see if she could get her job back because all the pain was gone. Now, when all this happened, I realized that God's prophetic word through this pastor was coming true. So as I leave that morning to go into the entrance area of the church, there's a woman there in my church who showed me a picture of her 11-month-old uh, grandson who had just been diagnosed, uh, diagnosed with, with leukemia. And she said, Pastor, would you pray with my grandson, Robbie? So I did. And sure enough, later the report comes back that the baby had no leukemia in his body. In fact, the doctor said, we can't, we don't know what happened, but it must have been some rare virus we couldn't identify. Now later I realized that the leukemia cells are very identifiable and, and, and recognizable in the, in the lab. And so I, I realized that this child, regardless, was healed. And when I knew that child and that woman were healed, that the rest of this prophecy would, would come true. Well, we were having a Wednesday night healing service in our, in our church. And within over the next 15 years, we had thousands of people come through our church every Wednesday night from all over the world for healing. From all over the world. And Rivers and I ended up with a global ministry. For the last 20 years, we've been to 70 countries on six continents doing a global healing ministry of healing and, and deliverance. So look, I know in hindsight that I had to go through something so God could use us on the other side uh, to do what we do. And we continue with our healing deliverance ministry today. I mean, the churches and, and board members and so we, we're sewing into a lot of churches trying to help them understand that Jesus has not changed. And I want to take you back to a passage in Mark chapter 16, verses 19 and 20. It said, Jesus ascended to the right hand of the Father, and the disciples went out, and he worked with them to confirm the message with signs and wonders and miracles. And I, and I realized that Jesus has not changed. He still wants to confirm the gospel with the power 
of, of, of healing, with the power of deliverance, with miraculous signs. And, and I'm trying to help churches understand that, that Jesus hadn't changed. And allow him, Jesus Christ, crucified and risen, who sits on the right hand of God the Father, to work with people. Confirming the gospel with signs and wonders and miracles. Look, I've written a couple of books. The first book is called Healing for Today. And it's my whole story about what I've just talked about over the last five weeks. And I wrote another book about healing the Father's blessing, healing the Father wound. How important it is to have your heart healed from that emotional pain, that from an adverse relationship with an earthly father. Rivers wrote a great book called Rivers Wanted, which shares her experience and how God had to work with her so he could work through her and, and yoke her with me together in our healing deliverance ministry, which is a, a global ministry. So look, I hope these uh, five videos have been helpful. If you missed the first ones, go back. Go back on uh, Instagram or, or Facebook and check them out. And by the way, if you want to reach out to me, hit that button on the comment button on Facebook. I'll get back to you right away or Instagram. Also, if you go to my webpage, paulteskeyministries.com, there's a prayer request button. And I answer all these prayer requests that come in daily from around the world. Hit the subscribe button and follow me on my, uh, my webpage, and I'll add you to that list to get our weekly email that we send out. And again, I'm, I'm doing this and I'm sharing with you because I want to build your faith. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to know the God of, of the unchangeable God we serve loves you with a passion that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for you to give you the gift through faith of what? Eternal life. And I'm sharing these messages that go out all over the world about Jesus Christ crucified and risen for the world. People like you and me who embrace it through faith in him. I hope this has been most helpful. And I'll continue to do this for you. Why? Because Rivers and I love you and look forward to um, sharing with you, not if this in this life, but in the world to come for all eternity. So go in peace and serve the Lord. And all God's people said, Amen.